Welcome to Cinema Range 2. Just wanted to make an update on Hans Niemann. Uh, just a quick one. I mean, there's some like very bad evidence for him. Uh, like some, he said, I mean, played some ridiculous games where he like, he was up two pawns. He had queen two pawns against the queen and kings uh, in an end game and then he self made it himself in like two moves and also he lost in 12 moves uh, like completely ridiculous game like yeah I mean it's just it's absolutely absurd to think he didn't cheat against Carlson and, uh, and, and in fact I mean also there's some new evidence like uh, like the game with uh, with 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 Karana, he was like uh, the way he played that was like very suspicious, and uh, I just his behavior at the board was completely different. It was obvious. I mean, uh, like people are like, you know, they say sarcasm was the humor of the weak mind, so. I mean, people are distracted by this anal beef thing, but I mean, the thing is, it's, it's perfectly possible to, to cheat at the, at the, at over the board chess and, and you, you, without leaving the board, and you don't, you don't put something up your ass, you, you, uh, you, you have some kind of like device, uh, like the ear, ear plug or something. And uh, and it already happened before, and uh, at least one time it's, it's happened at least once uh, in uh, Boryslav Ivanov, with Boryslav Ivanov who uh, cheated over the board uh, without leaving the board. So so I mean, and Hansen was was doing the same, obviously. And it's it's completely obvious. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, and so now he says uh, that, that Marcus Carlsen got, got the, the Norwegian number two or, or number three, well, Terry, the Grandmaster Terry, to, to harass him for 300 euros. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I mean, Carlsen is, is a bit of a douchebag as well, so, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, be surprised, but uh, anyway, of course, I mean, uh, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna pay, of course, anything to Hans Niemann. And uh, I mean, the most brutal punishment he got is is, is being um, being excluded for chess uh, from chess.com, like lifetime exclusion from chess.com. I mean, that's a extremely brutal punishment. So. If anyone should be punished, it's uh, it's uh, Daniel Wrench, who's also a complete douchebag. So I mean, he was. I mean, it's completely absurd. I mean, like this guy. I mean, he was. Like uh, I, I had, I had like an argument with Daniel Gomali because, because Daniel Wrench was. Um, I mean, he he was like. Um, uh, uh, spreading um, uh, 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 pandemic propaganda like like a complete idiot. So that was my problem with that guy. So I mean that I, I mean I, I, I mean I would think that's a legitimate problem when, when we're talking about like a, a global genocide, millions of people dying. And then Daniel Gomali tried to like verbally attack me like. I mean, is he, is he fucking retarded or what? So anyway, that's what I wanted to say about the updates for Hans Niemann. And I really wish people would shut up about this. I'll tell you about the origin of the... of the... Um, of the anal beef story. It's... it's, it's uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's the Canadian Grandmaster, Eric... Uh, what is he called? Eric something. 
uh, he he uh, I mean he's a complete like autist autistic uh, scumbag, and um, and so so he's saying and then Elon Musk must have like seen that stream or something. And then he, uh, he he tweeted about it like, I mean that's the. And then the mainstream media, instead of like viewing it as a joke, you know, like sarcasm, which it obviously well was. And and actually, Eric uh, was suspicious of uh, of Pantheon and cheating. Of course, uh, uh, but, but of course not 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 not. Uh, I mean, how would you cheat over the ball? You you would obviously you you would have some kind of like auditory information, which which I have documented. I mean, I've documented it on my uh, on my channel, and it's it's got like fifty likes or something combined. Like, I mean, there are people who understand. Um, I mean, it's clearly obvious. I mean, the way he's fondling the equipment and. I mean, he's just doing it uh, all out in the open. It's completely obvious that, that he's got some kind of equipment, just like uh, Boryslav Ivanov. Yeah, so humans are fucking pieces of trash, and, you know, I cannot wait for humanity to go in extinct. I must say. Uh... Fuck humans. 